Let me hear you say it. Tara. Right now, it's Miss Tessmacher. Get yourself ready for the redheads. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hottest modern redheads. Sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you. For this list, we've searched the lengths and breadths of celebdom to find for you the hottest red-haired beauties out there. All right, all right, order, order in the court. And Brianna, if you do that again, it's going to be hashtag contempt of court. There are no specifications in terms of career path, only in terms of hair color. And the lady in question must be known for sporting a do of that shade. It's really throbbing. Let me get my coat. Today we'll be focusing on females, but watch this space for a more manly edition. Number 10, Isla Fisher. Thank you! My aunt will really appreciate it! An actress largely known for comedy roles, when Isla Fisher comes onto the screen, she certainly provides something to smile about. <laughs> She was the sexiest part of Scooby-Doo. Yo, Red! The ball! <laughs> and the cutest bit about confessions of a shopaholic. Oh my god, I love this one. Oh no, but look at the red one. The red one's really cute. <laughs> Married to English funny man Sasha Baron Cohen since 2010, Fisher has since branched out a little, taking parts as Myrtle Wilson in The Great Gatsby. Call your sister if you like him. No, no, no. Uh, th that's all right. Thank you. Catherine said to be very good looking. And Henley Reeves in Now You See Me. Stay out of my head, you perv. Uh, well, no, if I stay out of your head, I'm never going to get in your pants. A versatile performer, she's a very pretty lady. Wow, thanks. Let me mull over that offer of cheap and meaningless sex. Number nine, Haley Williams. And I think it'll just be a fun night. I think it'll be really cool, whatever it is. We leave the world of film and march into music now as Haley Williams has us all forgetting the lyrics because she's just too lovely to look at. This rock chick isn't quite your standard brand of sexy, but that's why we love her. Williams wows with her punky hairstyles, tattoos, alt fashion, and general anarchy. Even though she's in the business of misery, she's been making us swoon for some time now. It's a ride a minute with this one, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Number 8, Kate Walsh. Congratulations. On the redhead scale, our next hottie skirts the brunette border. But there's just enough scarlet about her to qualify for today's countdown. It's like she's wearing an inner tube at all times. A slightly deflated brown all inner right, tube. I got it. A little hair on the side. Oh, timber. Kate Walsh is an actress most well known for two roles. That of Dr. Addison Montgomery in Grey's Anatomy. Really? You? And Grey's spin-off show Private Practice. And uh, you are even more beautiful than Ange said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as well as Rebecca Wright in Bad Judge. I love you. He's telling the truth, Judge. We all love a woman in uniform, and when that woman's a redhead, and when she's as wow-worthy as Miss Walsh, then, well, that's a winning combination. I did not say anything. We agreed to disagree. Number seven, Jessica Chastain. And you, you still can't help acting like this little Brooklyn corner store gangster's <laughs> daughter that you are. I, I am the love you, Chanel. An actress to leave you wide open-eyed, Jessica Chastain found her Hollywood feat in largely controversial circumstances. It's not like I'd be fibbing. I just want him to think I can do this on my own. Reasonably well-known before December 2012, she was an all-out A-lister by January 2013, after starring as young CIA intelligence officer Maya in Zero Dark Thirty. A movie that captured headlines on a daily basis, it was a political landmine. Totally understand. Bin Laden uses a courier to interact with the outside world. By locating the courier, we've located Bin Laden. But she has since proven far hotter to handle. <laughs> Considered a leading actress of her generation, she's also one of the loveliest to look at. So if I were you, I would start treating us with a little more respect or I guarantee he will make it his mission in life to ruin you. Number six, Deborah Ann Wall. Yeah, what's going on? Jessica, can we please talk about There is nothing to say. 
As a general rule, anyone who has a starring role alongside Sookie Stackhouse in True Blood has to be hot. I've never seen her before last night. I, I've never laid eyes on a redhead vampire before. The show is overflowing with attractive people, but our next actress is probably the most beautiful of the fang-banging bunch. I just got out of a serious relationship. Mm. My first and only relationship. I'm not ready to commit to you. Deborah Ann Wool plays Jessica in the HBO series, a sort of after-dark offspring to the show's lead male figure, Bill Compton. Because need I remind you that I just found you f***ing a man in our car! A character with an apparently uncontrollable libido, Wool shows a lot of skin during the series, making a lot of the audience very happy. <sighs> Number 5. Julianne Moore I'm So happy to see you. In more ways than one, our next entry is an actress who appears to just get better with each passing year. When I speak to you, you'll know it because I'll look at you. Julianne Moore has been heralded by critics for the majority of her career, and as she gets older, the awards and nominations are becoming more commonplace. Oh, oh that sounds like fun. I can't believe I let you get away without these. It's cute your hair that way. Oh, yeah, I experimented. Oh, it's adorable. At the same time, she's a lovely-looking lady, and she's getting lovelier by the day. Her red hair's a regular on the red carpet, and we just can't get enough of it. In fact, we want even more of more. I think that you have the job, but why don't I make sure of something? Number 4. Karen Gillan Oi! You sit still. Doctor Who is well known for reinventing itself, so when the series promised a new companion in 2010, there was little out of the ordinary. Big shock. However, when Karen Gillan arrived dressed as a policewoman kissagram, we ooed and awed a little more than usual. Loves a redhead, our naughty doctor. She told you about Elizabeth I. Well, she thought she was the first. Drop it. Since playing Amelia Pond, Gillan has switched to the silver screen, most notably with a more blue than red role as Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy. If we could but choose one woman to fly through time and space with, however, it'd definitely be her. Your hair. Is it your hair? Oh, shut up, it's the glasses. Number 3. Amy Adams You look fantastic. There aren't too many top-of-the-bill actresses to match Amy Adams, and there aren't too many more attractive than her either. Well, I never heard of it. Where do you hear about it? The New York Times? No, a guy, a guy from work. Adam's rise as one of Hollywood's leading names has run parallel to her becoming one of the hottest people on the planet. She was worth fighting for in The Fighter and well worth hustling for in American Hustle. I can only dream about these dresses are beautiful. As Lois Lane in Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman, she's looking super hot for the superheroes. This is a high-profile redhead and with very good reason. You know they say it's all downhill after the first kiss. Number 2. Emma Stone. Fine. Our runner-up is actually a natural blonde, but so well-known, well-loved, and well-fantasized over has Emma Stone's red-headed look become. She scoops second place all the same. I gotta admit, I kind of liked being on the map. Ever since breakthrough roles in Zombieland and Easy A, Stone has been soaring to ever greater success and ever greater sexiness. How about we play the quiet game? Yeah, starting now. In Gangster Squad especially, Stone played the Scarlet Woman to perfection. You want to take me away from all this and make an honest woman out of me? Even those that didn't like the movie loved her one-shouldered red dress look. How is it even possible for one person to look that pretty? I'm just next level. Is this yours? Yes. Is this yours? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. This kind of moral anarchy cannot be allowed. Agreed. To a speedy resolution. The speedier the better. Register. Hey, it's me. I just wanted to fill you in on something. I should be back home at 10. Meet me there. Free. Nobody would believe what you wrote. I don't know. I've been told I'm a pretty good writer. Already sold a lot of books.
Number one, Christina Hendricks. I've been the same shade of red for many years. Just when you thought our red-headed roll call couldn't get any more red hot than it already is, we hit you with a helping of Christina Hendricks. As Joan Harris in Mad Men, this lady has made men and women go weak at the knees on a weekly basis for some time. These need signatures, not initials. An indisputably talented actress, she's earned extra admiration the world over for her hourglass figure to die for and for her emergence as a modern role model for women. She's an all-round red-headed winner. Do you agree with our list? Which modern redhead do you love? What's your angle? For more Fired Up Top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Use it. Is it clean? I don't know what that means.